What's up everyone? Moving on to an example for the product rule of derivatives. We have to find the equation of the tangent on the function 3x squared plus 2x minus 1 times x to the power of 3 minus 2x squared plus 4x at an x value of 1. So to find the equation, we're going to follow the same steps that we've done in previous examples earlier in the curriculum. And the steps are always going to be the same when you're finding the equation of a tangent. The only thing that's going to change is the mechanics within the steps. So we know that a tangent line is going to take this form, y equals mx plus b, because it is a line. And the first step is we have to find the slope of that tangent. So we have to find the m value of that line. And to find the slope of a tangent line, we have to find the derivative of this function. So a couple of ways we can do it. We can expand these two brackets and then apply the power rule to each of the terms separately. But just for practice, let's use the product rule that we went over in the previous video. So notice how this function f of x is the product of two separate functions. And we know that if a function is the product of two separate functions, then its derivative is going to be the derivative of that first function times that second function, h of x, plus the first function times the derivative of the second function. So let's fill these in. So the first one is g prime of x, so the derivative of the first function. Well, if we take the power rule on each of those terms, we would end up with 6x plus 2. Next is h of x, and h of x just stays as it is. So it's x to the power of 3 minus 2x squared plus 4x. And now we're going to add g of x as it is. So we would rewrite 3x squared plus 2x minus 1. And the derivative of that second function here in the bracket, we apply the power rule. So that would be 3x squared minus 4x plus 4. So this whole term here represents the derivative of this function f of x. Now at this point, a couple of options. You can take this derivative if you want, expand it, and then simplify all the like terms. However, the question is not asking you to specifically find the derivative of this function. If that was the question, if the question was just find the derivative of this f of x, then your teacher would probably expect you to simplify this expression here, and that would take you quite a bit of time. But because finding the derivative is only part of a series of steps for what we're finding, we're finding the equation of a tangent, I would just take this derivative expression and then just plug in that x value of 1 right away to find the slope of the tangent at that specific x value. I wouldn't take this derivative and simplify it, just leave it like this and then plug that x value of 1 because if you start trying to simplify it, you increase your chances of making a mistake and then getting that slope wrong. So then doing that, plugging that x value of 1 in for this derivative, I took this second portion of the derivative and put it down here just to give myself more room on the whiteboard over there. So plugging in an x value of 1 for the derivative, this first bracket would be 8, this second bracket would be 3, plus this uh, first bracket here would be 4, and then this second bracket here would be 3. So 8 times 3 is uh, 24 plus 12, so we know that the slope of the tangent at a specific x value of 1 is equal to 36. So we are done step 1. We found the slope, the m value of this tangent of this function at an x value of 1. Next step is we have to find the b value in this linear equation of the tangent. So we already have the slope, which is 36, so we got y equals 36x plus b. And now to solve for that b value, we need a coordinate on the line that we could plug in for x and y, and then we can solve for that b value. Well, we know that a coordinate on this tangent line is going to happen at an x value of 1 on this function. So we know that the x value is going to be 1, but what's the y value going to be? Well, we can find the y value of the coordinate on that function for which we're going to find the tangent on by plugging in 1 into the original function. So if we plug in f of 1, or an x value of 1 in the original function, this, for, this first bracket here would be uh, 4, and then this second bracket would be 3. So 4 times 3 is 12. 
So at an x value of 1, a y value of 12 occurs on this function, and at that coordinate, 1 and 12, we are finding the equation of the tangent. So now we can just take that x value of 1 and that y value of 12, plugging in here, and then solve for b. So 12 equals 36 times 1 plus b. So then bringing the 36 over, 12 minus 36 would give us negative 24. So we know b is equal to negative 24. So therefore, our final equation is y equals 36x, that slope that we found in step 1, minus 24, the b value that we found in step 2. So then our final answer is this y equals 36x minus 24. That's the equation of the tangent on this function at an x value of 1. So same steps that we've been doing before, find the slope of the tangent, then find the b value with the coordinate on the function. Sometimes you'll be given the full coordinate, so you'll be given the y value as well. Sometimes you're going to have to find the y value, like in this case, by plugging in that x value of 1 in the original function. So the steps are the same, but the mechanics were a little bit different when we found the derivative. We applied the product rule, and we haven't really dealt with any examples for where we're finding the equation of a tangent where we're applying the product rule. So it was a bit of a unique case but the overall steps are the same. Yo, what's up guys? Thanks for checking out my channel. Hopefully you got some value from the video you just watched. If you did get some value, big favor to ask you, please like this video and subscribe to the channel. Any questions, any recommendations on things you'd like to see, please leave it in the comments section. Also check out the description box below for links to material and content related to the video you just watched. Peace out.